So I'm uh, Chris Sherwood. I'm the head of public policy for the Allegro Group, which is the leading Central and East European e-commerce company. We uh, run the most successful uh, e-commerce businesses across uh, that region, uh, including uh, some big marketplace platforms, price comparison platforms, or com comparison shopping platforms, and indeed uh, a payments platform called PayU, and um, and classified ads platforms as well. So we run a range of different intermediary uh, information society service platforms in the e-commerce space. Um, I'm delighted to be to be speaking uh, today about uh, of the concept of, of neutrality and and competition, or concepts of neutrality and competition, uh, with regards to to the digital value chain, which uh, of course is a, a, a polite way of talking about um, the issue of platform regulation. And I just wanted to to share with you some thoughts uh, that come from, from the perspective of a Central and East European e-commerce company. So the first thing I'd like to say is uh, is really to start with praise uh, for the force nature of the European Parliament's work 15 years ago now on the e-commerce directive. The e-commerce directive has delivered a platform for um, both the uh, over-the-top uh, and the telecoms uh, communities to really um, grow disruptive services via digital technologies. Uh, it's a piece of regulation which um, includes the country of origin principle, uh, some basic information requirements for operators, um, which uh, limits the ability of member states to engage in protectionism, which sets some basic rules about how contracts should work in this space, um, how uh, member state governments should cooperate with each other, and of course, very importantly, um, the liability regime that applies to intermediaries um, uh, in the online space. Um, and I think uh, that liability, well, I know that that liability regime uh, is of equal value, really, to, to both over-the-top players and, and infrastructure uh, providers and, and, and access providers. Uh, and that's really one of the key things that needs to be preserved by the European Commission and the European legislators uh, as, as they work towards the, the digital single market uh, outcome that we all hope for in a few years' time. Um, one of the questions that's raised in the program is whether there is a need for more regulation or perhaps less regulation. And that's obviously a, a complex question to which there's only a series of complex answers. Uh, but I think it is clear that there is over-regulation today in many spaces. And uh, we, as, as, as uh, internet companies and as, as online platforms, certainly are not in favor of over-regulating um, uh, other, uh, other industries. Um, to name a few, uh, taxis, uh, hotels, um, you know, things like closing times and offline retail, um, and there are many, many other examples of disrupted industries which, which clearly are over-regulated in, in, in some ways, and we would be supportive of, of a deregulatory agenda which would help them to, to compete um, with, um, with uh, purely digital players, which are actually a dying breed anyway, cause, because things are integrating more and more. Um, I'd like to, to really focus on the issue of competition. Uh, clearly, problems exist in the digital space with regards to competition. Uh, in the last uh, EIF dinner I attended, which I think may have been the last uh, EIF dinner, we talked about the issue of platform bans, which is where uh, major brands and manufacturers restrict the ability of their distributors to sell uh, the goods that they produce on online platforms like ours. Uh, that's clearly an abuse of existing competition law. Uh, and, of course, there's the well-known uh, Google search case and, and probably some other uh, competition cases in the online space which are, which are uh, in the process process of being, uh, being resolved, we hope. Um, clearly, uh, competition law hasn't yet um, proven that it can solve these, uh, these problems, and I think that's a really big challenge for uh, DG Comp and for national competition authorities. Um, we don't have a reason yet to conclude that, uh, that competition law and that these regulators are not capable of fixing these problems, uh, but I think you know, we need to be putting pressure on them to actually deliver. Um, they need to raise their game with regard regard to uh, how they understand the markets in particular um, and how, they, how, how fast they function, the speed with which they deliver outcomes, and, um, and developing the right procedural tools to, to, tackle, uh, these, uh, to tackle abuses in, in these new markets. Um, and I think you know, one of the 
things that we can take on board as an as a industry community is really looking at ways of increasing the industry expertise of those regulatory bodies. Um, just a couple of final thoughts then on openness and neutrality, which are two of the key words for this, uh, this session. Um, calls for openness and neutrality can really, uh, you can really consider them to be contradicted uh, in, in many ways by calls for more responsibility. So we, we as intermediaries find ourselves constantly uh, caught between uh, two, um, um, between two opposing imperatives. Um, those who say, no, you should be more neutral, uh, you, shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be deciding what does and, and doesn't go on your platform. And others who say, no, actually, uh, you should be uh, making sure that there's no counterfeit or there's no porn or there's no terrorist content or whatever. So when we talk about openness and neutrality, um, you know, the reality today is that that is a nuanced picture, and that will continue to be a nuanced picture. Uh, it's just a question of where um, legislators and regulators decide to, 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 to draw the line and, and create the balance. Um, so it, 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 that, that is not a, a black or a white um, paradigm. Um, yes, a broad, broadly speaking, principles of openness are good, um, but they're actually already enshrined in competition law, and consumer harm through competition abuses um, uh, is already covered uh, by, existing, by existing rules. So when we hear about um, the DSM package potentially uh, um, consulting on or looking at issues of, of platform regulation, um, I think that's very interesting. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, some kind of uh, expression, a, a coherent expression of what there might be in terms of, of common threads between different types of, of platforms. Um, but uh, for the moment, I'm, I'm not convinced that there's any, any need for anything new. Looking forward to questions later on.